We associate the Raspberry Pi with micro SD storage, but if you're looking to scale up the ways you use your Pi, then you may want to run it from a fully fledged USB hard drive. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here we're going to show you how to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 via USB, letting you use it with SSDs and flash drives. By default, your Raspberry Pi boots up from the SD card that contains the operating system. Here we'll show you how you can ditch the micro SD card and boot your Raspberry Pi 4 from USB right from an external SSD drive. Why you should ditch your micro SD storage. While the micro SD storage solution is adequate for most small projects and simple IoT applications, it isn't optimal when the Raspberry Pi 4 is being used as a full blown computer. Apart from the obvious speed difference between an SSD and micro SD card, the latter quickly emerges as the weak link in applications requiring frequent writes to the file system. While both the SD card and SSD make use of the NAND flash memory, they are not the same. The NAND flash cells in a micro SD card can only be overwritten a finite amount of times and the frequent writes of the file system will wear out the micro SD storage very, very quickly. In a modern SSD, on the other hand, it employs a sophisticated onboard processor to perform automatic wear levelling routines. This prevents uneven wear of the NAND flash modules. SSDs also have a larger array of these flash modules to spread out writes more sparsely. This makes them much better at withstanding the wear and tear of frequent disk writes compared to micro SD storage. Booting from an SSD isn't straightforward. Since the Pi 4 isn't equipped with an onboard SATA or M2 connector, the USB 3 port is the only way to connect a 2.5 inch or M2 SSD. Booting the Pi 4 off USB also requires updating the firmware. Messing with the device's EEPROM is a risky affair, so make sure your Pi 4 doesn't abruptly lose power during the process. Furthermore, not all USB 3 to SATA M2 adapters play well with the Pi 4 at this juncture. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is working on getting USB boot to work reliably with the USB to SATA SSD enclosures, but there's no telling when the feature will be integrated into a future official release of Raspberry Pi OS. Until then, booting reliably through an SSD is a matter of finding the right external USB enclosure. But even if your SSD or USB enclosure combination doesn't work, booting through a fast and compact USB 3 flash drive, such as the Samsung Fit, is still better than the slower micro SD card. Getting started. Before you buy a new 2.5 inch SSD enclosure, make sure it supports UASP, USB attached SCSI protocol. This new protocol uses a faster SCSI command set and leverages the wonders of parallel communication through native command queuing to improve transfer speeds considerably. Here's what you need for this endeavor. A Raspberry Pi 4, an existing micro SD card with Raspberry Pi OS installed, an SSD with a USB 3 enclosure, you also need a 2.5 inch USB drive enclosure. Internet connectivity for firmware and system updates. How to boot Raspberry Pi 4 from USB. Firstly, boot your Pi from the micro SD card. Upon reaching the desktop, open terminal and type the following commands to update the distribution. sudo apt update, sudo apt full dash upgrade. With the OS updated, the system must be prepped to receive the latest stable firmware update. This calls for editing a specific system configuration file. sudo nano slash etc slash default slash rpi dash eprom dash update. The default value of the firmware release status parameter is critical, which must be changed to stable in order to install the latest firmware. Press Ctrl O to commit changes to the file and then Ctrl X to exit nano. Update the firmware with the following command to enable the new bootloader. sudo rpi-eprom-update-d-a After the update is completed successfully, reboot your Raspberry Pi 4. Verify whether the update was successful by typing the following command in the terminal. The latest firmware update will be displayed. It should be June 15, 2020 or later release for the USB boot feature to work successfully. Next, clone your micro SD card onto the SSD that you intend to use as the new boot device. This is best done with the SD card copier application found in the accessories section of the Raspberry Pi OS GUI. When that's finished, shut down the Raspberry Pi 4, remove the SD card and connect the USB boot drive. 
Power the Pi 4 again and wait patiently for the OS to boot from the USB drive. If you see this screen, then congratulations, you've successfully managed to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 from a fast storage medium attached to the USB port. The Raspberry Pi 4 can be a powerful device if you can unlock its potential. By switching to SSD, you can easily get a performance boost and use it for more intensive operations like, for example, running a web server or a Minecraft server. See links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks a lot for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.